Hey everyone, welcome back again. Sorry it's been such a long while. I've been kind of slacking a bit. <laughs> well, not really, I had to work and do a couple things around, but yeah, we're back, finally back here in the garage. Today's the final, today's the video where we finally bring the uh, Z32 back from the dead, or at least get all this stuff out of the way and <laughs> cleaned it up and whatnot. So yeah, be a pretty straightforward video. Where we left off last time, we had taken off the water pipes on the back and got the EGR out. So now it's just putting in new water pipes and all the hoses and reattaching everything and putting the new um, idle air control valve on the back of the plenum. Well, plenum over there. <laughs> Put it on the back of the plenum and screw everything back on together. So shouldn't really take too long. We've already been through this step. We don't have to do injectors. We don't have to do any of the other electrical stuff. It's literally just these two things and put everything back. So let's just hop along to it and I'll try to keep the camera a lot more smoother this time. I saw that la in the last video was a little bit too shaky for my liking as I was editing it, but you know, that's all the footage that I had for today. So, well, for that day. So we'll go ahead and get to it and uh, I'll you know, get you guys, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm full from Thanksgiving. <laughs> Just follow along. All right, to catch you guys up to speed, last time we were here, we took off the timing covers and the water pipes down here so that we could replace them. We're not doing the uh, water pump itself. We're gonna wait for that when we do the timing kit later on. So let me move over to the side here and hold the can as steady as possible. And if you remember back here, we had gotten rid of the EGR, so now we got all that clear space. So let me show you what we're going to be replacing it with today. All right, so down here in this box that I have is what we're gonna be replacing with. This is a special component from a Mr. Let me aim it down a bit. This is a special component from a Mr. Ralph Merlin of Merlin Machining. Inside the box, we get a Oop, throw this away. This here is your NA water pipe kit with silicone hoses that come with it. Now, I'm gonna put these down for a second. Bring the camera up to me. Okay, so what makes these components special is that these water pipes, as you can see here, are made from billet aluminum. So no more rusty water pipes. They have your fittings on both sides. Well, I had to get the twin turbo ones instead of the natural aspirated, naturally aspirated ones because he was out of stock. But it comes with the fittings that you plug in in case you have an NA so that you know you don't have your water pipe. In here you get all your screws, you get your hose clamps, and the O-rings. Oh, can it? Can I get it? Come on. There we go. Oh, wait. Shit. Why is it not doing it? There we go. And the O-rings associated with the pipes. So all this is included in the kit. The only prerequisite that it didn't specify on the site is that basically in order to put these silicone hoses in, you have to have your EGR deleted because these are going to go right in place of where the... Um, of where the EGR is. It's a low profile um, heater core piping. So essentially, if this is the back of the engine, well, pretend if we're holding it, if you're looking at the back of the engine, this will be your main pipe. And then this one down here will be the one that goes to your, oh wait, you guys can't see because it's backwards. Oh, my bad, sorry. All right, so if we're looking at it from the front of the engine, this will, no wait, it's still not doing that because I forget, it's mirrored. Basically, both of these go into your heater, into your heater core like this, where this pipe would be the one that goes on the, uh, well, it would be turned this way, but it's the one that goes on your pipe on the driver's side, and this is the one that goes on the passenger side, and they both collect. But you see how, unlike the old one, which, where is that? Let me see if I can grab that real quick to kind of demonstrate. Mm, here it is. So this is the one that came off. Unlike the old one 
that comes on and then goes around to the heater core that sits up higher. This one sits a lot lower. So that's the main gist of it. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on and let me get you all over to it. Unfortunately, guys, um, this is about the farthest I can get to the back here, which doesn't really make for a good sight as we have to go basically all the way down there, like where this is pointing. So, you just, you guys are just gonna have to assume that I went ahead and did it and we'll just have to move on to the next step, but it's pretty straightforward, you know, um, if I take this off and toss you guys in the air again. <laughs> All you do is, you know, you essentially just put one on that pipe down there, or you know, let me get a light. You just put your first one on that pipe down there. Your second one is somewhere in this little crevice down here, and then you're, you connect them to and you do all the things you need to do. So, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty simple Z32 stuff. Most of you enthusiasts, you know, you'll already know what to do. So I guess no need to film. So we'll move on and uh, we'll just go from there. Sorry for the bad head. Um, let's go over a few things because uh, a lot changed from yesterday. So, Ralph, I put your kit on and uh, it turns out it was pretty good. Um, you know, nothing too difficult, nothing too straightforward. Um, I do have one little discrepancy. I do wish that instead of the Allen, Allen head bolts that you included with, I do wish that they still were um, the uh, 10 millimeter uh, hex bolts because it would have been nicer to attach them using something like a uh, like a ratcheting wrench or like a flex head ratcheting wrench to get them onto the back side um, instead of having to try to get an allen allen key to fit down there which you know it doesn't really have the same amount of torque because i don't have really really tall allen keys because <laughs> uh, usually the taller ones that you get also have like a wider length uh, um, what am I trying to say? Like it's a wider L shape and that doesn't fit in the back in that little small pocket. So I would have, I would have liked to see the 10 millimeters come back instead, but for the most part, everything went on good. I didn't really have many issues whatsoever. Um, just a little bit of a headache as far as just kind of squeezing the silicone to get it onto the dang, um, heater core attachment pipe but you know it's just because i didn't have any silicone with me on hand so i'm just like that probably would have made it a lot easier other than that i have no other option uh, no other um, problems now on to the bigger issue at hand which is actually over here let me grab them actually let me get up in front of the camera and uh, you know i'll I'll, you know, I'll get dressed and then uh, I'll be right back with y'all. Oh, but before I go ahead and uh, start talking about the um, issue we're having, I wanted to go ahead and showcase the uh, Ralph Merlin's pipe and stuff like that. So they are on, good fit, and still have plenty of space back here. So very good. I'll be buying more things from Merlin Machining. Very good company. If y'all want to check them out, I'll have his link in the description. So be sure to support them. But anywho, on to the main. All right, so let's get to the main issue at hand right here. So basically what has happened is, that, you know, let me use this. This, uh, manual, this right here is the exhaust button that goes on the side of the header on the driver's side. And as you can see, it is hollow. So this is where the exhaust gases would go through to your EGR and recirculate through the clean them and all that stuff. So we're supposed to plug this up with a solid one. The problem is, is that the one that Z1 sent is not the right size, as you can see. Um, it's much, much smaller. So this doesn't thread in correctly at all, and it's not even the right socket size. This goes in with a 22 millimeter socket, and this only fits an 18. And even if you were to, uh, you know, 
if you wanted to tap into the back of this and then screw this one in. Um, the, inner, the inner diameter is still too small enough for you to even thread it in to get in there. So I just have to wait until, oh, sorry, audible. So I just have to wait until they um, respond back to the email that I sent them and see if we can figure out this discrepancy because pretty much until that point, it's gonna, if we leave it as is, it's gonna smoke whenever we restart the car back up. And because it's in that location down there by the, uh, by the, uh, the header and whatnot, I can't, uh, I can't put the plenum back on because if I do, I've, ar I've already uh, tried, did a little test fit, I put the plenum back on over there. And basically my hands don't fit <laughs> down there in any sort of way without me, you know, me scratching some shit up and busting some knuckles. So unfortunately, this is pretty much where the video is going in because I can't really put anything back on together until unfortunately we do that. I mean, I could do the front half of the car with the coolant pipes, but I kind of wanted to wait until the plenum got on top because I didn't want to accidentally drop it on the timing covers and then scratch them up because they're like freshly, freshly painted, like no flaws at all. I'm trying to keep it that way. <laughs> So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to wrap this video up. I'm sorry it was short. If, if anything, this was kind of more of a Merlin machining review video than anything. <laughs> so, but at least on the bright side, you know, positive, positive views on that. So, sorry guys, until next time, we'll just have to wait until December. So another month from now, three weeks in my case. So until then, peace out. <sighs> and though I don't have no juice, drink some, it's good for you. Peace, niggas.